Alright guys, what is up YouTube? So I'm here right now at Panda Express. I'm actually here uh, meeting with someone, someone you might recognize from a video uh, back when I was at like I think only 3,000 subscribers, which is kind of crazy. If you guys remember him, this is Emmanuel. And I'll go ahead and I'll go back, snip it back to a real video real quick. Alright, so what's up YouTube? Uh, this is Emmanuel. Did I say your name right there? Yeah. This is Emmanuel. Uh, we, ju we just had lunch. Lunch, lunch was cold. delicious. This is uh... Banana Bay. And what I've been hearing so far is that, you know, like it's worth it. It's worth, you know, I, I personally work at Target. I'm a closer. I work from 7 to closing. And um, every day I'm there, I'm thinking, you know, I'm better than this. You know, like I'm really into computers. Like, and you know, if you can do it just by going through uh, Treehouse and I'm like, <laughs> going to pass the way to go. I'm going yeah, to Pasadena yeah. College. Um, why not? Like, why yeah. not take the chance to do it? I just finished eating with Emmanuel real quick. We ate some food. Um, I'm really exhausted right now, and the reason we're here is because I actually sold them the keyboard. Um, keyboard. Uh, this guy, Emmanuel, right, Emmanuel, actually, you should just tell him. So, okay, when I first met Emmanuel, okay, when I first met Emmanuel, he was working at Target. Yeah. Right? You were yeah. working at Target, and you took the bus to meet me last time. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Hold on, okay. That's crazy. Okay, okay, hold on. So, why, why did you take the bus last time? My car couldn't make it long distance, oh, so. Uh, so I needed to meet you and ask you some questions. So I decided to do whatever it took to to get to you. So since then, since we met, okay, mm -hmm. you went to a coding boot camp, right, to learn code? Yeah. Why did you go to a coding boot camp? Because I wanted to get a job right away. Uh huh. And you know, I just I wanted to learn the necessary skills, languages yeah. to get a job. Yeah. And how 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 did how did the boot camp go? Well, the boot <laughs> the boot camp went. It, it was successful. Yeah. In the fact that it taught me what it needed, what it needed to teach me, uh -huh. but in the end, I didn't finish the boot camp. Uh -huh. uh, but luckily, things turned around for me. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for that boot camp, I wouldn't have the job that I have now. Wait, hold, wait, hold on, hold on. So you're saying you have a job right now? <laughs> yeah. Like, like you have a you're a manager at Target now or something? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so what is your what is your hold on, hold on, Mr. Emmanuel? Yeah. What is your job? <laughs> I am currently a web developer. You're a web developer? Yeah, yeah. Like you work with code? I work with code, yeah. No way. Wait, yeah. okay, I have a question then. <laughs> okay, did you need that co that coding boot camp to get the job you have now? Um, looking back at it, um, probably not. A lot of those things. Um, effort, uh -huh. uh, managing your time well, yeah. and having the passion to learn the languages that are necessary to learn, and just practicing, having fun with it, yeah. and applying to so many jobs, uh -huh. and not being discouraged by uh, not meeting up to, to the requirements, yeah. but just being confident that you're, you're able to do the things that you're able to do. So, no, oh, for sure, man. Yeah. So you didn't need the boot camp. You just needed perseverance. Yeah. Okay. Then how long have you been a developer so far? Since June. I mean, officially as a as a working as a developer uh, since June. Since June. Yeah. So about three months now. Yeah. It's been pretty crazy. It's been nuts. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. All right. So, Emmanuel, when I first met him, okay, when I first met him, he was working at Target doing customer service, right? Customer service. I used to work in the food area. Food area, okay. Stocking the bananas. Yeah, stocking the bananas, okay. And then after that, what happened? You went to a coding boot camp. Yeah. That didn't go well. But now you just got a job as a developer, right? Yeah. As a developer. You were being, getting paid. You, you getting... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you guys can say hello if you want. But <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that, was, that, that was the first. <laughs> Holy shoot. <laughs> that was the first. <laughs> People just staring at us. Wait, what was that? Okay, okay. Okay, so now, okay, you, ha you had a girlfriend. Do you still have a girlfriend? Yes. No, you don't have a girlfriend no more, actually. Oh, no. You actually, don't? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That kind of ended wait, about... Why? Why? Hold on. Wait. Yeah. So you're saying because you're a developer, you don't have a girlfriend no more? That's true. That's why? Really true. So what does that mean? What, are you single? Um, no. Actually, no. Wait, what, what's going on? Um, I am officially a fiancé, so we're wait, engaged. you're engaged? Yeah. To that girlfriend you were yeah, talking about yeah. when you took the bus to meet Yeah, you? yeah, He supported exactly. you and didn't think you were crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. I'm Shoot. engaged. We were engaged. Um, from the making of this video last Saturday, so. Dude. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. This is crazy, man. So this is crazy, because ever since meeting Emmanuel, man, this yeah. guy, his life has completely changed. It's <laughs> it's seriously, what? It's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's been a year and a half? Yeah, a it's year? been a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's been a year and a half. 
He didn't even have a car really. Yeah. Since we met, yeah. and then he had he bought a Toyota Corolla. Yeah. He drove all the way down to meet me, and now he even bought the had the money to buy that keyboard for me, <laughs> which is crazy. Yeah. All because of code. All because of perseverance. Perseverance. Uh, confidence. And code. And code. Yeah. What, one last question. Is that okay? Yeah. I know you're a busy man. You're a busy man. <laughs> I'm I mean, not. <laughs> you, uh, you know, I, I mean, <laughs> it's is it okay to be in the video? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long have you been watching the channel, by the way? Ooh, since your first video. Are you serious? Yeah, since oh, your first shit. video. I've been there. Oh, shoot. I've been there. That's yeah. crazy, man. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. man, that's crazy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Did people think you were crazy that you were trying to become yep. a programmer? Yeah. But yeah. Why? Like, so why, people, how was it when people thought you were crazy? Why did people think you were crazy? Because they couldn't believe that you didn't need a degree necessarily to have a job like that. Yeah. Uh, they didn't believe that anyone besides hackers uh -huh. can do that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I was able to kill that <laughs> stigma and show them that you can learn it, that anyone can learn it. So yeah, you don't need a degree at, yeah. at all, man. You yeah. I mean, that's yeah. cool. And now that you have the job, mm -hmm. uh, all right, those same people, yeah. They're cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're motivated. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool, dude. That's exciting. Where did you drive from, by the way? Right now? Yeah. I drove from Azusa. Azusa? Okay, oh, yeah, okay, okay. That's crazy. This is crazy, man. This is just like, cause I've known you for a while too. Yeah. If if anyone else, if if Emmanuel could do it, man. If I could do it, like, I dropped out of college. I barely graduated high school. Same. And now this guy is a developer. Yeah. Your life has changed, you could say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Does, does it feel good? It feels, it feels liberating. It feels like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. Any any last words you want to say to anyone there? Um, don't give up. Uh -huh. Persevere, and believe in yourself. This is uh, Emmanuel, life of the as a web developer. <laughs> You're gonna start a YouTube channel now? <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe. Is it okay if I show people your Instagram? Yeah, go ahead. This is crazy. Yeah. All right, you want to do a transition? You want to say, uh, you want to end the video here? Yeah, so I'm yeah. ending the video here. <laughs> See you to the next one. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey, man, like, you're here with me. <laughs> Let's go take a tour. <laughs> okay, and I'm in the <laughs> All right, guys, um, I'm honestly not sure if this is going to be even focused on me right now, um, but I really want to talk about pretty much just meeting with Emmanuel. It's, it's, it's crazy when you look at where he is as a developer because, like, just like a year and a half ago, he was working at Target as a customer service agent, right? He went to boot camp and he dropped out. He had There was no reason for him to succeed in this. And despite everything, going against the possibilities of him succeeding, because he persevered, even when he had a reason to doubt, he still made it. He's a professional web developer. He gets paid enough to do it. Because of this, now he's engaged. He was able to buy a car so he can go to work and have a car that doesn't have car problems. And this all happened because he studied code. And so I just really hope, you know, just if for me, it's crazy to be able to see lives change like this. It's crazy for me to see people's lives change, seeing them go from knowing nothing to getting to where they are now because of this channel. It's really humbling. There are people, not just me, who are really changing their lives where when they have no reason to succeed, they still do. And I want everyone else to know that you can do it. And so I hope that this story can encourage you to let you know that you shouldn't give up, that you're one application away from getting that job. So it's really loud around me. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm a go. Time for me to study code at home. And I'll see you guys next time. If you guys like these videos like this, man, please let me know. Like this video if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, man. Documenting not just my life, but documenting other people's lives too. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is Chris Sean. This is Life Code Developer. And I'm out. Peace. Uh -huh. Well, how was this? Um, I guess how 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 was uh? Right, so what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Emmanuel. Did I say your name right there? Yeah, this is Emmanuel. Uh, we ju we just had lunch. Uh, he hit me up on Twitter. Um, and you know, he's, he's a real person. He's I'm real. real. I'm real. Am I am I more good looking in real life though? Uh, <laughs> I think YouTube adds a little bit more editing. <laughs> I look skinnier, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, I guess we'll just do it this way. Um, yeah, okay. So cool. how, how was lunch, man? How was lunch? Lunch, lunch was, was delicious. Cold. This is uh, Banana Bay. We're not sponsored or anything. A lot of people <laughs> ask about that, but Banana Bay, really good Thai food. Recommended. If you're in the California OC area. <laughs> uh, he's a very fervent believer too. He's a Christian. We're planning meeting up and studying the scriptures together too sometime. Really soon, right? Yeah. Double date. Double yeah, date. Like tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Alright, yeah. double date tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, so 
Uh, yeah, I guess um, since there's a lot of web developers had actually watched his channel, uh, what's one suggestion you, you can give them? I guess after us meeting and talking, what's one tip that you think you can give them that maybe I haven't even shared yet? Um, I think what I learned from you and our uh, talking about it was uh, that uh, you need to have passion for what you're doing. Um, I think when I was uh, committed to wanting to be in web development, like I needed to know that I was signing up for. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. why I'm talking to this guy. <laughs> um, and what I've been hearing so far is that you know, like it's worth it. It's worth you know. I I personally work at Target. I'm a closer. I work from seven to closing. And um, every day I'm there, I'm thinking, you know, I'm better than this. You know, like I'm really into computers. Like, and you know, if you can do it just by going through. Uh, treehouse, and I'm like <laughs> going to pass the Dia, I'm going yeah, to pass yeah. College. Um, why not? Like, why yeah. not take the chance to do it? I agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, one thing you gotta know about Manuel is that uh, he's someone that actually is hustling. Uh, you know, in his life, in the midst of his busy schedule, he's someone who actually does work hard, and I see that. And he has a passion to learn code. A lot of people say they have passion, but don't. But I see that in the event. So, you know, when he becomes a developer, you know, he will soon. Yeah, he'll I'll make my own YouTube channel. He'll make his own more YouTube channel. More subscribers, more likes, more content. And you guys will all leave me and go to him. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> all right, watch out. <laughs>